Today, we're conducting an interview with Andy Merricks, who's co-founder and director of LSS Group and LSS Pay, who we're proud to say are a partner with us here at Cashflows. Andy's career has been in the hospitality and leisure sector for over 30 years, with 15 of those assisting insolvency practitioners with trading insolvencies. He has an in-depth knowledge of this sector and invaluable service to IPs across the country. We're here to speak to him about the industry, its future, and some of the challenges IPs face when trading a business in administration. Andy, thanks for joining us. Thank you, Ben. So, good place to start. Tell us who LSS Group are, and specifically LSS Pay. So, LSS Group was founded uh, many years ago, actually quite a few years ago, and we were specifically doing assisting insolvency practitioners with trading insolvencies, uh, mainly in the hospitality and leisure sector. The reason we founded LSS Pay was because there we came across several instances where the IPs were having issues, administrators having issues with bringing on the incumbent merchant acquirers for the merchant services. They would sometimes be asked for PGs, personal guarantees, large deposits, large amounts of money being held back, etc. So the incumbent Merchant acquirers are not always the best ones to go with. And so, as I say, we've we've come across this problem. It can be very difficult if the incumbent provider doesn't provide the services because it will start business to the cash flow. With this solution, we can put in a system much immediate effect. Why did you partner with cash flows? When did you come across this? And you explain a little bit there. Yeah, so... I was look, I was going to many acquirers and asking to set up a, a, a solution that was compliant with all the legislation, uh, anti money laundering and, and client money regulations, etc. And it was through my association of dealing with Richard Bradley of Accept Cards, who are an ISO in, in the business. He introduced me to cash flows, and we eventually, after several months, got to a position where cash flows understood insolvency procedures and the necessity for or the, the opportunity there for merchant acquirers to trade with businesses in administration. So that was really it. Uh, cash flows have given us the, we worked closely with them to provide a a turnkey solution that is streamlined and fast and that's why we can um, promote this business as a, as a literally a 24-hour turnaround. Which is obviously ideal for people when under pressure taking on insolvent companies. What do uh, insolvency practitioners need to consider when thinking about taking payments on behalf of an insolvent company? So they're not taking payments on behalf of the insolvent company as such. It is the insolvent company. It's a company in administration that would be the is the merchant services. So the it's a bit like a bank account. When you open up a bank account for a company in administration, it's in the company, it's in the name of the company in administration. With our solution, it is exactly the same. The merchant, uh, mer- the merchant services business is in the name of the company in administration. That's the first important thing. One, it means there's no third parties holding on to funds. It is done through the proper channels. Secondly, obviously, the um, compliance with, as I've already said, the anti-money laundering, client money regulations, etc. It ticks those boxes. Thirdly, the, again, there's no guarantees, no uh, personal guarantees. Um, there's no big deposits that, that we're asking anybody to pay. There's no pre-appointment chargebacks. So all of those problems that the IP will face with an incumbent merchant services provider, that goes away. And so we've been speaking already a lot about the regulatory and compliance obligations of insolvency practitioners. What are the elements of that that concern IPs most and specifically any changes or possible changes that they are telling you concerns them? The IPs and uh, insolvency procedures are highly regulated. 
and they have to be careful to follow all those the necessary regulation, etc. The merchant services solution is just, is just one of those uh, out of many regulatory hurdles that they have to jump through. As I said, already said, that really the anti money laundering legislation, client money regulations, it ticks those boxes for them so they don't need to be concerned with third parties holding funds. We work when we're doing trading and solvencies, we work very closely with IPs uh, in LS, LSS Group and LSS Pay. And, you know, one of our key objectives is to assist IPs in making sure that they meet their regulatory clients, etc. Um, and, and we try and keep them out of jail. Always well, important <laughs> and a great selling point for us. So I wanted, I wanted to speak not only about the regulation there, but about the strategy and planning that IPs go through. I wanted to focus on the micro and the macro. So on the macro sense, um, figures from the insolvency service are showing a large increase in insolvencies in May 2023, I think pro- versus the previous year and even versus the previous month. So what should IPs or what have they been saying to you that they're doing with regards to their strategy in a period of economic uncertainty? It was very interesting, Ben. Yes, the stats of insolvencies are up. That's quite true. But we are finding that the majority of these insolvencies now are pretty much uh, liquidations, uh, burials, as the uh, uh, as the industry calls them. So we're not seeing a huge amount of trading insolvencies. We're not seeing huge amounts of administrations. So probably PPACs are up. Um, and actually, we can also use uh, this merchant services solution for prepacks. It's a slightly different application, a slightly different procedure, different procedure. But we can also be using um, this uh, for, for prepacks as well, to, so that the, uh, the sale can go ahead uh, very quickly, and not having to wait for um, a merchant acquirer to uh, provide the merchant services, uh, which could sometimes take three, four weeks or so. And so we can turn this around very quickly, a matter of days. So the amount of insolvencies, I say it is up, but actual trade insolvencies is, is really very quiet at the moment. Um, we do see that increasing in probably Q3, Q4 for this year as the financial impact, interest rates rising, etc. cetera, um, will start to affect people spending Hospitality and leisure, without doubt, will fill the pinch, and as as will retail. Um, so it will be an interesting space to be in at the latter part of this year, and we'll see how things develop. Absolutely, absolutely. So in, in going to the micro, then in terms of the prepacks and the trading insolvencies that you were talking about, there, where does picking a uh, picking up a payments provider come in that strategy? Are the uh, IPs kind of thinking of that as something that's crucial to their strategy early on? Well, again, this is one of these things, uh, as I said, I've been doing, um, uh, working with the insolvency profession for many years. And whenever we get asked to do a trader, it's quite often at the very last minute with very short notice. And the, the merchant services solutions is normally the same. It's normally we're going to be appointed in the next couple of days, or we already have been appointed, which is quite often the case. And our uh, the incumbent merchant services provider is not playing ball. So what I would say about that is obviously the more notice we can get, the easier it is to find the right solution. There is many hurdles to jump through uh, at times, especially if it's a, a, an online business, we've got to look at what gateway they're using, various other uh, issues come into play. Um, we have the solution that sometimes, you know, some more notice on on putting this this together is uh, it, it's always beneficial. Think about us early on is uh, perhaps the message. Yeah, and, and it's interesting because this is this is exactly what the IPs um, uh, preach to businesses. Um, come and see us before you get into so much trouble and there's no way out of it. 
Uh, and I guess it's the same message for IPs. You know, if, if you if you think you've got a trading insolvency or prepack or anything where you're going to need to use our merchant services, let us know as soon as possible. Perfect. All right. So looking at the uh, business outlook again, what are the new opportunities for the remainder of 2023 for LSS Group and LSS Pay, and um, specifically alongside cash flows, of course? Yeah, absolutely. So. You know, again, it's so difficult to predict um, the insolvency market. So we um, certainly IPs have been forecasting, you know, record insolvencies. We, we said as soon as COVID, we came out of COVID, we were going to have a huge amount of them. Didn't happen. So 2021, 2022 were really quiet for um, the majority of IPs. There's still pockets that were quite busy. But I do think now there is so many businesses there that are uh, underwater. They need restructuring. Um, HMRC are sl- starting to become a lot more proactive with chasing debt. So I think all these factors uh, will start to push more businesses over. If HMRC carry on the way they are and and, and get more aggressive, with their falling in debts, then potentially we could see a lot more trading insolvencies uh, as the IP will have to be jumping in with administration to uh, to save the company from being wound up. Understood. Indeed, it does sound like IPs will be playing an increasingly important role in the UK economy in the weeks and months ahead. And increasingly, that means that we will be there to help IPs provide the services that they need at the right time. So we thank you for your partnership and we thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Ben. And it's a pleasure to be working with cash flows for this uh, unique service, really, that we're, we're providing for IPs. Very much look forward to the future.